Health officials say that Halloween is looking differently this year. Well, you can see some homes have already decked out in holiday spirit. Trick or treating this year comes with a twist. It's the most anticipated dress up day of the year. And I'm going to be a ghost. Scary signs and spooky faces filling some yards, but knocking on doors and saying trick or treat could be a high risk activity, according to public health officials. Because we are in a pandemic where the spread of COVID-19 is substantial in our community, traditional trick or treating will not be an option for kids this year. Alternatives to traditional trick or treating are strongly encouraged, like staying home to watch movies and decorating your house, which some have already done. But Angela Franklin says she's willing to let her son go out for Halloween, so he's not disappointed. Personally, I don't have any concerns going door to door. Halloween is for the kids. I don't want to take them out and people be like, you know, kind of turning them away. I don't want my kids to feel alienated in any way, shape or form. Her plan, a bowl outside her home for candy cravers. Down the street from her blown up decorations. I love the motorcycle. <laughs> Aiden and his grandfather have been waiting for October 31st. This little guy, he loves uh, Halloween, so he goes through the boxes even in the summer times. Goodman is a bit hesitant about people coming to his house for candy, but still wants to make the most of the holiday. San Luis Obispo health officials recommend limiting contact while distributing treats. One tip they say is to leave prepackaged individual treats on your doorstep for trick-or-treaters to take. Reporting in Santa Maria, Sydney Brandt, KSBY News.